So how does a what you eat impact your hair? I don't know, but I know <laughs> who to ask. Maria Marlowe is joining us. She is the Maria Marlowe and Maria Marlowe Integrative Nutrition. Maria, b before we even begin, just give me your hair and, and then the whole problem will be over. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. I grew this out for quite a bit, you know? I want to hold on to this. Did you ever have problems growing out your hair personally? Well, it has been slower growing at certain times. I grew up on a standard American diet, but since switching to a healthier diet that actually has nutrients in it, it's definitely growing a lot faster. You know, so many people think that if they have thinning hair or uh, acne or any of these problems, there's nothing they can do. They can try and take some medicines, but that food doesn't play a role. That's wrong, right? totally wrong. Food plays a huge role and if you think about it, food is the fuel and it's serving as the building blocks for our skin and for our hair, right? Because both of them are growing from the inside. So nutrition plays a huge role, especially in hair health and research shows that certain nutrition deficiencies such as biotin, iron, or zinc can actually lead to thinning hair or hair loss. On the other hand, if we consume an adequate amount of these nutrients, then our hair is going to grow healthier, shinier, thicker, and faster. So the frosted mini wheat I had for breakfast is the reason for my bald spot? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's, it's not great actually. <laughs> if you want to talk about foods that are not great for hair health, sugar is at the top of the list and we know it's not great for our health in general, but the reason that it's not great for our hair is because in addition to spiking our insulin, it also increases levels of a hormone called DHT. Mm. And the research shows when you have chronically elevated levels of DHT that can lead to hair loss and hair thinning. So it, what should we yeah, eat? Yeah, what do we eat? To thicken the hair and how long <laughs> will it take to notice it if we start changing our diet? Sure. So the foods that you want to include in your diet for hair health are those that are rich in biotin, iron, and zinc, as well as other nutrients. So if I had to give you my top five, I would say beans and lentils are at the top because they're high in iron and zinc. Seeds, all different types of seeds, such as pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, these are a great source of iron and zinc as well. And then eggs are a good source of biotin, and you do want to eat the yolk because that is where the biotin is. And avocado. Uh, no, that, that's not on the list. What is on the list, what goes great on toast, is avocado. And avocado is also high in biotin as well as healthy fats that are great for our hair. What, what, what is noxin? Nioxin. Nioxin. So Nioxin's recharging complex is a supplement that contains biotin, iron, and zinc, as well as 13 other nutrients that do support healthy growing hair. So of course, you want to ideally consume a healthy diet that contains many of the foods that I just mentioned and more, but we don't always eat as healthfully as we would like, so that's why taking a supplement can really help ensure that we're getting the nutrients that we need. And in the case of healthy hair or thinning hair, you would want to take something like Nioxin's Recharging Complex because it has those nutrients that are specifically needed for healthy growing hair. Hmm. Now, if someone is suffering from baldness, like they've already gone bald, will any of this help it grow back or it can just help yes. prevent future hair Word loss? God, that was my next question. <laughs> so that's, that's a great question. So hair loss is caused by many different causes. So it could be genetics, it can be medication, it could be environment, it could be stress. And one of those possible causes is nutrition. And so if a nutrient deficiency is the cause for your hair loss, then simply adding that nutrient back in could help grow your hair back. All right. So when I when we're going we're gonna to re-interview you in a year, I'm going to eat nothing but avocados until then. And lentils and eggs. And lentils and <laughs> eggs. And I wanna, I'm going to have a full head of hair. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we know that uh, people can contact you and you can help give them individual help as well on your website. So thanks for being with us. Yes, thanks for having me. Okay, for more information on combating hair loss, check out the website, nioxin.com. Is that how you say it? Nioxin, yeah. And okay. to learn more about Maria and her approach to eating and dieting and just wellness in general, you can check out her website. It is mariamarlow.com. And she does offer some individual consultations. Absolutely. She's got a lot of information on that website. A lot of